Hey guys, it's time for Tidbit Tuesdays. And this week I would wanted to focus on dental insurance. I get asked questions a lot about dental insurance. Do I need dental insurance? Um, are there waiting periods? All those kinds of things. So it's really a case by case basis. Um, dental insurance can be very pricey and a lot of times there's waiting periods. So depending on what your needs are, dental insurance may not make sense. Uh, if you have a lot of work that needs to be done, you can get plans that, again, will pay out $1,500 to $2,000 a year, which is not a whole lot if you need a bunch of work. And then there's waiting periods for major services. So a lot of times, you know, I talk through this with my clients. What do you need? You just get cleanings, checkups. You have kids that need... Um, oral surgery, those kinds of things. If you can get dental insurance to your employer, that's usually your best bet because the waiting periods are usually waived. And so you can get treatment done and it's pretty affordable compared to just getting it on your own. And then you can use it right away and get some help to alleviate some of the costs. But if you don't have access to get a dental insurance to an employer, then we need to look at doing individual plans that kind of fit your needs. Again, I ask all the questions to find out what your needs are. Uh, the biggest player for dental insurance is Delta Dental. They're nationwide. They have a huge network. It can be sold individually. But again, there's some limitations on major stuff. So if people just want coverage because they're worried about needing work later on, then it's a great great tool. It does have in and out of network benefits. Of course, you're going to save tons of money if you stay in network. It's nice because the network's very large. So that's the one I generally recommend. And then the other thing that some people do are dental savings plans. There are various ones and I always say check with your provider to make sure even though they're on my list, let's make double check and make sure they accept it. But a dental savings plan can really be an awesome tool that people use. It's much more affordable than month-to-month -month dental insurance. You pay a yearly amount. Uh, for a family, it's usually about $170 for the whole year. Uh, that comes out less than $10, 10-ish 10, dollars a month. I'm trying to do math real quick in my head. Um, and what it is, you do have to use network doctors, but you get the same pricing as if you had dental insurance. And what do I mean by that? Well, with the dental savings plan, let's say you have one that um, doctor, if they normally take, let's say, Aetna dental insurance, then if you have that dental savings plan, the Aetna dental savings plan, then you get charged the Aetna pricing, which is basically giving you a discount so you're only paying the dentist what Aetna would have paid the dentist anyway. So that works for different plans. Humana has one, Cigna has one. Um, we just always want to make sure your doctor is in network because the dentist does have to be in network for that to work. But you do get savings every time you go to the dentist and it's a lot cheaper than dental insurance. And I've had people utilize those dental savings plans and be a cash patient uh, for oral surgery and things like that and also get another discount on top of that. So that is one way that you can um, save some dollars by using a dental savings plan. And then there's other plans. Um, Carrington has one that you still get the discount even if you haven't met the waiting periods. So sometimes that's a fit for people. But again, you staying in network, you're going to save money. You're not going to get a discount if you go out of network. So it's a case by case. I sit down, kind of talk about your needs. Um, but what's really cool is it... it if we want to do a plan through your employer or you're a self-employed person and have employees and want to give them dental insurance, I get asked that a lot. Some employees would rather have dental vision than have medical because they're dealing with the medical. They want dental vision and that's a really affordable option for employers to offer that to their employees as a benefit. So just keep in mind, uh, I go through all the details with you. I will give you some choices on plans, but by far, I think Delta Dental has, if you want true dental insurance, they have the best plan out there and the most widely accepted plan uh, nationwide. So that's really um, a better benefit than some of these other plans that have waiting periods uh, or dental savings plan. So get with me if you would like to discuss those options. 
uh, hop on over to my website, JCAP Consulting, schedule a time with me. And until next week, I'm going to talk about vision insurance next week. Peace out.